much. You'll be given the opportunity to do it better. Thank you very much. Three happy cheers to Mr. President. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Thank you very much, Mr. President. In this state of euphoria, we have the courtesy of a visit to Jubilee House. By our heroes, the Black Stars. And as is customary in military terms, when soldiers return from war, I think the first person they report to is their army commander. So in this instance, our victorious team, the Black Stars, are here to report to the CIC, the commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, Nana Adodanku Akufuadu. <laughs> and so, Without much ado, it's my pleasure to invite the Minister for Youth and Sports to give his introductory remarks. Minister. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, Nana Adudan Kwaikufuado, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic, Dr. Alhaji Mahmoud Baumia, my mother, Madam Chief of Staff, Secretary to the President, the President of the Ghana Football Association, the Board Chairman of the National Sports Authority and the Director General of the National Sports Authority, the GFA school members, the head coach and the technical team, the gallant blasters, the supporters union. <laughs> Your Excellency, I'm, ha I'm happy and proud to be back here, the seat of government, to present to you our gallant blasters who made the entire nation proud last night in Abuja. Your Excellency, you charge me to ensure the qualification of the blaster for the World Cup in Qatar. And by the grace of the Almighty Allah, our gallant men are here, made the entire nation proud yesterday by qualifying Ghana for her four FIFA World Cup at the expense of our brothers in Nigeria. Your Excellency, Whilst commending and congratulating the blaster, let me acknowledge that the final hurdle in Qatar 2022 qualification journey brought the entire nation together. We saw a massive support for the team in the first league against the Super Eagles in Kumasi, as well as across the entire country. Your Excellency, what we witnessed yesterday from the blaster was a display of brotherhood to fight for a common purpose. In the face of adversity, the blasters stood together, trusted in one another, lifted one another, and ultimately lifted the entire country. Your Excellency, I would like to thank you for your personal commitment towards this process and eventually our qualification. You ensure that every financial and logistical need for the blaster were met. You open your doors to me without hesitation in, on all discussion concerning the blasters. Your Excellency, I cannot forget your pers you, you personally hosted a fundraising breakfast meeting with po corporate Ghana and appealed to them to support and complement government effort in supporting the blaster. Mr. President, if we are here today, it is largely due to your personal support and the commitment of your government towards a national cause. Thank you so much for your support, Your Excellency, and thank you, Ghana. <laughs> Thank you very much, Minister. May I now invite the FA President, Mr. Marco Kreku, to present his word of gratitude to Mr. President, after which the coach will be invited to introduce the playing body and say some few words.
Your Excellency, the birthday boy, the show boy, our only president, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic, our mom, the Chief of Staff, senior members of government, my hardworking sector minister, Honorable Mustafa Yusuf, and your deputy, colleague ESCO members here in present, chairman of the Black Stars Management Committee and your team, my technical team, and my players. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mr. President, it is an honor to come to you once again, not only to thank you for the immense support you've offered our association football and our national teams, but to continue a very good history of Ghanaian football that was started in 2006, when Ghana first qualified for the Mundial in Germany. Mr. President, in 2006, the spirit of our nation was lifted through that qualification. And that was repeated in 2010 and in 2014. In 2018, our country was missing. And when we took office, our singular de determination was to ensure that we bring our black stars to the platform that we belong. The platform where the very best of association football gather to show their quality. A platform that we've always believed we belong. Mr. President, I am especially happy that today we've come here as gallant warriors who put in everything to ensure that our nation belonged to the best platform in association football. Can we clap for ourselves, please? <laughs> Mr. President, the young men you find here belong to that special group I call gallant warriors. Gallant warriors. What do I mean by this? Mr. President, we played 0-0 at the Barbaria Sports Stadium, but we still kept the belief that together as a family, we can make our nation great and strong. We kept the family unit. We kept the comradeship. We traveled into the lion's den. For those of you who were at the Mashud Abiola Stadium yesterday, you will fully understand what I mean by to play in the lion's den. In the morning before the game, Mr. President, I did say that our country, our proud colors, will be defended vehemently by 16 plus gallant men, not 11 on the pitch. <laughs> Mr. President, throughout my footballing career, I've never seen a hostile atmosphere like we went through in Abuja. I've never seen, sorry, but I'll say it here. I've never seen much officials as hostile as we found ourselves playing against yesterday. But the indomitable fighting spirit of the Ghanaian. <laughs> Led by an amazing technical team, kept our hopes alive. We fought. We fought and we ensured that we belong to that special group of a footballing nation, a special group who will truly represent our colors at the Mundial in November, December. Mr. President, before you are our gallant warriors. These boys have made our country great and strong again. 
We've always believed that we belong to the very best in association football. Mr. President, and I remember my last visit to you, I said to you that when we fix the fundamentals of association football, our football will come back to where it belongs. We are on the right path. There were a lot of doubting Thomases. But just like your good self, we kept the belief. We engaged ourselves and we took the right decisions. And every good leader must take the tough decisions, the tough but right decisions. And this is what we did. The result is that we saw a Black Stars team that we have never seen playing with so much passion. Because of our collective desire to make our dear nation great and strong. Guys, I salute. My coaches, I salute. Mr. President, the feeling across the entire nation speaks for itself about the special vehicle called Association Football and what it can do to our dear country. Clearly, Association Football has a multiplier effect. And this multiplier effect is what we see. All of a sudden, our country has found the energy to stay together and to truly show what we have. Mr. President, thank you so much for the belief. Thank you for the investments that you have made in our work. And thank you for your promise to stay with us throughout the journey. In saying this, let me also specifically thank my sector minister because he's been there with us through thick and thin. Alaj Mustafa, I salute. <laughs> Mr. President, this is just the beginning of perhaps an interesting and a promising future for our dear country in association football. With your promised support, with this amazing technical team, Otoado, Chris Hilton, George, Didi, the rest, again, I salute. I salute. <laughs> To the Vice President of the FA, who currently chairs the, chair, the Management Committee of the, of the Black Stars, Mr. Mark Addo, Sami Kufo, Mr. Kwame Banfo Sekins, Alaji Grunsa, who is missing? Akwesi Ajiman, Kendall Damwa, I salute. <laughs> to the National Sports Authority, who has always been there for us, led by the Chairman of the Board, I salute. One more special person who has been so helpful to us, Dr. Da Costa of the National uh, COVID Tax Force. Thank you so much. <laughs> Our victory is a victory for the voiceless. People who rely on association football to have a healing in life. Our victory is dedicated to the masses, the people of our country who truly love quality and who truly want quality. Mr. President, in departing, once again, on behalf of the football fraternity, we thank you so much for the support. We thank you for the belief. We thank you for the investment you're making. And we believe that this victory will be the needed impetus for you to even invest more in domestic football. And I know that this is not nothing for the show boy. To my colleagues in the media, yes, you've been there for us. You've supported us all the way. 
I'm grateful for all the support, but this is just the beginning. Qatar is the next stop. And we will go to Qatar and make an impression like we've never done. I'm saying here again that we will go to Qatar and we'll make our nation great and strong. I thank you all for support. I thank everybody. I thank our dear country. And I'm glad that all of you stuck together to make our dear nation great and strong. I salute. Thank you. Um, Mr. President, with your permission, I will humbly invite Mr. Otto Addo to join me here. Otto, could you come up? I, I, I remember my first, I remember, I, I remember my first engagement with this gentleman. After two minutes, I was sure about exactly what I wanted. And for those of you who have followed the team, over three days, what we have seen of the Black Stars is something that we have never seen before. Otto, D.D., Chris, George Boateng have delivered something amazing to our dear country. Otto will say a few words. He's always shy, <laughs> but today he will speak. Mr. President, our head coach, Otto Addo. I'm done here for you. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, first of all, I would like to thank you, Mr. Ex Mr. Excellency, for the invitation. It's a great, great honor for us to be here. Um, it's, for me, it's even, yeah, very, very special. Uh, more special than the game yesterday because uh, we were not really prepared, or I'm not really prepared. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Kreku, for your kind words. Uh, a little bit too much, I think, but it's okay. <laughs> I take it. Um, I won't make it long. I think uh, enough is said. Um, surely everybody's happy. Uh, we qualified for the World Cup. This was our aim. And um, yeah, we're looking forward for it. Um, I won't take long. I would like to, um, the staff, not the coaches, the staff, please to stand up. So this is the staff, the medical department. The medical department, video, analyzer, and, uh, oh, Ricky, okay, uh, our performance uh, manager. So um, they, they worked a lot. They helped us as a team a lot and worked the kit men, they work day and night. Um, thank you for your effort. Um, um, you are highly, you have highly percentage on our uh, success. Thank you very much. Henry. <laughs> then um, let me please go to the coaching staff. Please stand up. So from my... <laughs> So in the first row is uh, Chris Hutton, um, very, very experienced, uh, a lot of help, a lot of good ideas uh, which we introduce um, and uh, it was a massive help to have him around to, to clear a lot of small, small problems. Uh, thank you, Chris. You did uh, more than uh, yeah, we could expect. Very, very good, um, exceptional. Didi Dramani, um, assistant coach, and George, assistant coach, um, as well. Um, um, I think uh, it was the best 
uh, team what I could uh, wish. Uh, I didn't know them before, but um, yeah, I'm very, very happy that uh, the president had this set up. Um, he introduced us, and we get to know each other. Um, it was uh, excellent working with them together um, and fitted. Thank you for your good job and good work. Thank you very much. And then the players, please, stand up. I would, I would like, because I don't see everybody, and some are uh, sadly missing, um, I would like everybody just to, to come up front. You start with the first row, just introduce yourself. Oh, you have a microphone there, okay. And then you uh, pass it on. I think okay. um, the, best, the, best, the best thing come at last, and uh, what you did was exceptional. Like the president said, it was not easy to stand firm under these circumstances. Uh, really, really tough. Um, yeah, it was, was, was incredible to see how you fought, and uh, you really deserve it. I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. So we start with our captain, Thomas Pate. Thank you, Mr. President. Thomas Pate, Asna, and Ghana Blasters. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, yeah, boy, Columbus Crew. Thank you, Mr. President. Christopher and J. Vogel Bochum. Thank you, Mr. President. Chris Yorchi Wright, Hoshan Key. Thank you, Mr. President. Elisha Osu Kagant. Thank you, Mr. President. Joseph Pinto, KRC Gang. Thank you, Mr. President. I serve the Jacques Strasbourg. Thank you, Mr. President. Abdel Mumin, Victoria. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Mohamed Kudus, FCI Ajax. Thank you, Mr. President. Abdel Manaf, Nouruddin, Kass, Open. Thank you, Mr. President, Joseph Edu, Celta Vigo. Thank you, Mr. President, Lawrence Atizigi, FT Sengali. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President, Edmond Addo, FC Sheriff. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President, Gideon Mesa, FC Bordeaux. Thank you, thank you, Mr. President, Joseph Wallacott, Swindon Town. <laughs> thank you, Mr. President, Jordan Ayu, Crystal Palace. Thank you, Mr. President. Idris Baba Mohammed from Africa. Thank you, Mr. President. Usman Bukhari, FC Nant.
Okay. Um, took a while, but I think it's worth it. Um, I just want to mention as well our goalkeeper coach, Richard Kingston. He's not here. Um, thank you very much for, for your work. Then um, some players missing, Daniel Amate and Dennis Odoi also missing. Um, they did a great job yesterday as well, and uh, we want to thank thank them for that. Um, furthermore, I would like to say, I said it to some of the press uh, members already, um, these were only two games, but uh, there was a long path before I had, and uh, Sikor Agrono is, is part of this success, and uh, as well as uh, Milovan Rajovac. <laughs> And of course, um, our captain Andre Ayu, and several players missing today. Um, it's very, very important for us. I think that we acknowledge that, and um, we have them in our thoughts. Thank you very much again for the invitation, and uh, wish you all a nice afternoon. Thank you very much, uh, Otto Addo. Uh, Mr. President, in departing, let me also mention the amazing role played by our legends in ensuring that our players were very motivated. The legends led by Sami Kufo, who's a member of the management committee. Um, on that note, we thank you. We thank you, Yadawasi. Thank you. He deserves another round of applause. Thank you very much. I, I, excuse me. I know, mem I know members of the su supporting union or the supporters union are yearning to, yeah, to sing one jama before Mr. President takes the floor. So you are invited. Please go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to invite the President of the Republic to deliver his message. GFA chairman and coach, the technical team, the management team, 
Mr. Thomas Patty, Captain. <laughs> And the members of the Black Stars, you're all very, very, very welcome to Jubilee House, which is the seat of the presidency of our country. I think everything that needs to be said has been said, but I just want to add my personal word of gratitude to you for putting the icing on the cake on my birthday yesterday. The way these things happen, today I had to give a statement to the parliament on the state of the nation. And it meant that yesterday, when you were playing, I was in a meeting with those who helped me put these things together. So sad as it is to say, I didn't actually watch the match. But what I heard were the reactions of people in my office as you were playing and they were watching. And when you score the first goal, there's an Arsenal contingent in my... <laughs> yes, yes, I agree with you. Yeah. Chris Hutton and I, we belong to the other side in North London. Yeah. They came rushing in that uh, you've won the game for us. But really, the nation was so elated by your performance, both in Kumasi and also in uh, Abuja. In Kumasi, we saw that the black stars that we knew, the committed, skillful set of footballers that we grew up with here had come back. Now, we didn't see it, unfortunately, in the AFCON, but we saw it in Kumasi. And really, after Kumasi, I was very, very calm here that I knew that in Abuja, it was going to work out well. In fact, I happened to be in Abuja the day before on, a, on an official business, and I discovered when I was there a lot of nervousness on their part. I'm talking before the, before the Friday. The Thursday before the Friday, I was in Abuja. And uh, I came away with the thought that they feared that if they didn't get a result in Kumasi, they may not get a result in, uh, in Abuja. And that's exactly what happened. They didn't get it. So we have to thank you. You lifted the spirit of the nation. And now the nation has every reason to look forward to your performance in Qatar. Everybody's going to be behind you. And we're going to give you all the maximum support that we can. The ministry, the officials of the Ghana Football Association, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and all the organizations in the, in the, in the state that work with sports and football will give you all the support that they can. The arrangements that they have made with you before are all going to be properly honored and make sure that uh, everybody feels properly recompensed for what has happened. I myself am organizing a special package for you before. <laughs> as, 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 a token, as a token of my appreciation and recognition. But I think that above all, what we want to see, what we have seen in these two matches is the oneness, the cooperation, the solidarity, right from the management through the technical team, through the team, of people working together for a common goal. And that is what we want to see continue. I'm hoping that the technical team that has been put together for these two matches will at least take us through the World Cup itself.
I told the coach, the head coach, that he ought to be careful when he came to Ghana. He might likely be kidnapped here. I will make it difficult for him to go back to, Holland, to, to Germany and to Dortmund, that we want him here. But I would, I would uh, Mr. Kriku, uh, whatever you can do to make sure that the team stays together, at least until Qatar. Then afterwards, we can take the long-term decisions. The reason is that a situation whereby Arsenal, Tottenham, and everybody is together in one arrangement. That's a formidable uh, <laughs> arrangement. Tottenham is very well represented here, both here and here. <laughs> and oh, yes, 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 the vice president. The vice president is also a strong supporter of the cockerel of, of, of Spurs. So let's keep together. And the, the hunger, the desire, the determination that we saw in Kumasi, that we saw again yesterday, keep together. And out of it, I know something even greater is in the future for us. The person that we grew up worshipping as the greatest footballer of all, the great Brazilian Pele, said that in his lifetime, he was sure that an African team would win the World Cup. <laughs> he said that a long time ago. That it was part that he believed strongly that in his lifetime, like me, he's also a little bit long in the tooth, but it's not over. And good God knows, if the spirit that we've seen in these two matches and the level of skill too that has been demonstrated, kept together, the sky's the limit. Whatever it is that can be done on our side, as government, as officials, to support you, to give you the most agreeable and convenient background, tools, resources to work with, we will do it. The rest is up to you. But what I've seen, I know that a lot of good things are ahead of Ghanaian football. I want to welcome you all once again very warmly to the seat of the presidency and to congratulate you on behalf of the 31 million people in Ghana for the great feat. The chairman talked about going into the lion's den. I believe that was it. <laughs> and the events that took place after the match tells you that indeed you have been in and out of the lion's den. But the spirit, and at the end of the day, you know better than I how much how important that is in sport. You've done very, very well. The nation is very proud of you. And we want to have more reasons to be proud in Qatar in December. I want to wish you the very best of luck. And as I say, whatever my part and the part of my government we can do to assist, we're going to do it. You're lucky. You have all kinds of very responsible and Ghanaian, senior Ghanaians who have all been roped into the, into, into the, into the boats. Sami Kufour, um, one of the greatest players that our country has produced. Mark Addo, Kwame Sikins, oh, the Grunsa. I like the Grunsa. <laughs> All of them are there to assist, as myself. I am a football fanatic. Anybody who knows me will tell you that. I, 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 I'm, I'm consumed by the game. 
every opportunity I have to watch it. Some of the, 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 the places you've played, I've actually been in the stadia there to watch matches. White Hart Lane in the old days, the Highbury, the Emirates, even Dortmund, been to watch. I'm a big, big fan. So I'm so happy that in my period as president, this achievement has been done. So I want to thank you for that, to say you're very, very welcome here. Thank you very much. May God bless you all. Thank you. I forgot, apart, apart from my special package, I have presidential diaries with the crest and everything. I want to give one to Mr. Coach. <laughs> and the Arsenal man, Mr. Captain. <laughs> A two, a two, a two, a two, a two. There you go. Everybody else will get one too. They'll organize it for you. Once again, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Supporters Union. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And our sincere thanks to the President of the Republic, our Father, for his very kind words, very reassuring words, very heartwarming words. And I took particular note of the charge he has given to the FA president that he should do everything he can to keep the team together. That is Mr. President's charge to you. And I know it's a charge you keep and will never fail. Thank you very much. We are almost at the end of uh, this short interaction. And uh, it's my pleasure to uh, announce that Mr. President and government officials will have photo opportunity with uh, the players and the team. So at this juncture, may I invite, uh, first of all, the players to step forward. And then I'll mention the rest of the groups.